Hello from me and my shit bathroom that smells like damp. We are in a bit of a situation today in the fact that it's my boyfriend's birthday. Well, it's his birthday celebration. And annoyingly, a couple of years ago, I was kind of peacocking. Like, I kind of wanted all his friends to think, like, oh my God, that's such a nice girlfriend. And I made him a cake. And then I did it the next year because I'd done it the year before. And now, I'm kind of over it, but I have to keep doing it. Otherwise, I don't know, it feels like I'm being a bit of a shit person. So, I've got to make him this cake. But I've just got I thought maybe if I film it and you come along, then I will get the motivation to get on with it. So I need to come up with an idea, and what I can think of, because it's for him and his friend, and they're quite similar, right? And I could do golf, but I've already done a golf theme one last year, you know, you don't wanna repeat your idea. I'm thinking, they both work at the same company, and they both kind of do business. And I was like, maybe I could do that, make them like a work-themed cake. Admittedly, I think that could be a shit idea, but I don't care, oh, can you see all my car details? Fuck. Okay, whatever, there's no money in there, so just don't bother, okay, if you're thinking of hacking me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Hobbycraft, see if I'm gonna get some inspo, and I think I'm gonna buy a ready-made cake. So I'm not gonna make the cake, I'm just gonna make the decoration because I, I don't have the time for that shit, you know, I'm busy, I'm a boss and babe business bitch, so I can't be wasting time baking a fucking cake. That was so many bees, that was pretty cool. First of all, I need to have a shower, but our shower is fucked. So look, I have to actually open my shower. I have to turn my shower on with this. This is a wet room, this hasn't been on, so why is the floor wet? Also, that looks like it's just grim. That isn't grim, that's paint and I can't get that off. So that is just a feature of the house now, okay? So just shut up. But look, this is, we had a plumber come round and he was like, oh, we were like, can you help with the leak? And he was like, yeah, babe. So he started fixing it, but it turned, then he was like, oh, sorry, this has come off. We were like, okay, well, can you fix that? And he was like, oh, that will cost me 150 pounds to get a new one. And then it will cost me um, 100 pounds to fit it. And we were like, but you broke it off. And anyway, we couldn't bother to fight that battle. So we just said, yeah, fair enough. And now this is how we turn our shower on. So ready? This is quite hard one-handed. Lovely. Okay, sorry, the day took a bit of a detour because basically I'm chronically late for everything. Without fail, sorry for those keys are really annoying. And I completely forgot I'd agreed to go for a walk with my parents. So I got in the shower and then my dad called me and I was like, hello, and he was like, hello. He's like, where are you? We're at the park. And I was like, shit, I'm, I'm not at the park. Oh, hang on, sorry, my parents are shouting for me now. So anyway, I'm going on a quick walk. I just can't be asked to this cake. So I think I'm just putting it off because I can't be bothered. Here, here, you can see my parents like, running around in the background. Say so, little loons, she's coming. Slight issue, I think I just clipped a corner and I hit a fence because I felt there was a noise, but I don't know if it definitely happened or not. Like, I don't know if maybe it was just a jolt or whether it was actually a hit. So come with me and we can live react to whether I've just hit mine and Rory's car into something. I'm scared, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Right, you look first, you look first. So I looks up. Oh, no. okay. Oh. Nice. No, I didn't knew I could do it. Some time has passed, and I honestly, hang on. I just need to not get run over. If that's alright with everyone. Oh, every time I need to, every time I have to wave something, it makes me need a wave. But like, I'm always terrible at hide and seek because anything that makes me stop makes me need a wave. I don't know if I can be asked to make the cake. I've kind of gone off the idea just because I've been milling about. I did admittedly go shopping with my friend. Thank you. I just thought going to Zara and getting an outfit was more important than me getting the cake. Like, I do think, like, what's the point of me going if I'm not going to be looking fit? I would you rather me look fit or to have a cake? Probably a cake, we're gonna ignore that because I'd rather look fit. Now I'm in Asda, still on the catwalk, and I'm gonna get some ingredients and just, I'm gonna make a really shoddy attempt at one and just leave it at that. Okay, the shop has been done and I've committed to the cake, but I've made it simple, okay? I've bought a box cake because I've got better things to do than me making you a cake, babe. I've got decorations and I'm gonna draw with it. Oh my good God. My palm is more tan than I've been this whole year. That isn't right. This isn't right. Oh. Anyway, let's ignore that. I'm gonna give you a haul when we get back of the clothes that I bought from Zara. I bought a pair of jeans and I have worked out, I'm a size 11, I'm not a size 10 and I'm not a size 12. I'm sitting right in that awkward middle bit, right? Normally I just get a 12 because I'm like, I'd rather be comfortable. Whereas this time, I don't know, I've gone balls to the wall and I've got a 10. So we're gonna see if I can get those even over my big toe. Yeah, it's not looking likely, but we're gonna give it a good go. And then I'm gonna make the cake, and then I need to get Rory, and then I need to, I need to do some cleaning. This is dead, actually this is embarrassing to even admit this, but there is a 
there's a dead spider. Well, I put a jar on it because I was scared, right? And Rory, I was like, Rory, can you get on the side and get the spider? He's ignoring it. I think he might be secretly scared of spiders, but he's not admitting it. I don't know, me and Rory are kind of at war. Like, neither of us are dealing with it, so we're just ignoring it. But unfortunately, I am gonna have to get rid of the dead spider, so. You know, and I do feel bad that the spider is dead, but the spider should know better than to come in my bathroom. Do you know what I mean? It had no business being in there. It's not paying to be there, is it? I'm also going to put some washing on the line. How grown up is that? That like, is actually, I'm an adult in society. I need to get a grip. I cannot afford to get distracted, okay? So do not talk to me. Well, actually, by the time this comes out, it's going to have happened, but I don't want anyone to talk to me right now. I have to turn all my notifications off. I have to not look at WhatsApp. I just have to focus on the task ahead. I know the fun of it's gone for me now because I've bought the stuff. Like that for me is fun, like doing the buying, but doing the making, boring, not interested. So I need to keep myself motivated and I need to just get on with it and make the cake. I'm gonna go now. Because I was listening to Blurred Lines and I was kind of enjoying it, so I'm gonna go back to and these blurred lines. Also, have I ever told you that I think my neighbours are in cahoots against me? I just feel like a big fat loser. I can never actually park on my road because the spaces are already taken up, right? But I'm like, but you all must be going in and out. You must be going in your car. So how are you always getting a space and I'm always not? I feel like I'm in the loser corner. Like I'm not getting a seat. You know, like when people at school, like in the cafeteria, they'd all sit together and they're like, oh, sorry, there's not enough room for you. Like, I feel like this is happening to me in the parking spaces. But they must have a WhatsApp chat. And they must all be like, oh, let's all get in. I, mean, I haven't done anything that would piss them all off. I do sometimes get changed in front of the window and it's looking directly into my neighbour's window. I think maybe that puts them off a bit, but it's only a bit of TNA. You know, they should be, they should be glad to see that. Not that people get to see that. Hey, should I give you a quick haul? No, should I, I'll give you a haul when we get in. Let's get, let's get into the house because I'm delaying. I have this problem that genuinely, when I arrive at a destination, like when I arrive home, I could sit in this car for the next like four hours and I wouldn't even notice. If I've just got my phone and some scrolling, I could just sit here and just do fuck all for, for forever. So I need to just get in the house and get on with life. I need to stop fannying about. Fannying about doesn't get you anywhere. It's my famous words from, from right now. So if you're going to say no and you're veggie, don't bother getting the chicken goujon wrap. Ah. Ming. I'm gonna have to hide these Zara parcels. I told Rory I wasn't gonna be buying any more stuff, so shh, you didn't see that, all right? Keep that to yourself. Obviously, you think now that I'm like a content creator full time that I'd be getting some really exciting parcels, you know, but let me show you the kind of parcels that I receive now. A can opener, yay. There's something quite soul destroying about having to spend your own money on boring shit like this. Like, I don't wanna spend eight pounds on a can opener. That's a medium glass of Sauvignon with some soda water and ice. But no, it's a fucking can opener. So Rory can eat his beans on toast. I, why have I made that a me problem? That's definitely a him problem. Anyway, let me show you the apparatus I've got to make this cake. I have got a board to put the cake on. I've got Jack, Rory's friend, whose birthday it also is, just a really shit card about farting because they got Rory a shit card about farting. So I thought that clearly is a thing that we've got going on. I then, this is so lazy. But I just bought a ready-made cake. I haven't got time to be making a cake, you know? I've got things to be getting on with. But I really want to play Sims, so I don't have time to be doing that as well as making a cake. Then I got ready-rolled icing, because I don't have a um, rolling pin, and I couldn't bring myself to look anymore in that store and find one. So I'm just going to roll some white icing on it. And then they both work at the same company, so I'm going to put the logo of the company in drawing on there because that should be simple. Then I'm pretty sure they're turning 20, yeah, they are turning 28 because they're a year younger than me because I'm a cougar. It's embarrassing, isn't it? So 28, so I've got them a little candle. And then I thought round the edge, because it's gonna look pretty dull because the, the logo is pretty dull, but it's all I could think of in the time that I've got. I'm then gonna spell out happy birthday like boys round the side. And that's that. Let's begin now. I do need to warn you that I cannot be fucked now at all. Like there's not an inch of my body that wants to make this cake, but I've spent the money, so it's happening, right? We just have to just get over it. You're gonna to have to get over it, I'm gonna have to get over it. I'm gonna to have to stop looking at myself in that camera because I am obsessed with looking at myself. Space. Is this really bad that I've bought the cake or do you think that's fine? Well, luckily none of you can answer, so it's gonna be fine, all right? Let this commence. So, what am I going to roll this out on? That's what I need to know. Maybe a chopping board? I've just 
just realised there's tomato hoops on the, on the wall. How the hell has that got there? That's disgusting. And also probably me. Okay, we're back in action. Right, let me go get a chopping board. And a knife. The cake out. This one, I, this one I made earlier. I've always thought that I was quite selfless, right? Because I'm a people pleaser. I always say, like, oh, I love getting other people's gifts more than I like getting one myself. Or I love celebrating other people more than myself. Blah, blah, blah. And I remember saying to my therapist, like... Yeah, like, thinking I must be quite selfless in the fact that I'm a people pleaser, I just want to do things for other people. And then she said to me, she really humbled me, she was like, being a people pleaser actually isn't a selfless act. It's for yourself still, because you want people to like you, or you want to uh, avoid rejection. And ever since she said that, I was like, shit, you're so right, because when I'm doing these things, it's because of what I'm going to get out of it. <laughs> I'm making this cake, I know, because I like the fact that they're going to be like, oh, I can't believe you've made us this. So it's actually for me. So if you're a people pleaser like me, it's not because you're this lovely person, babe. It's just because you like people to like you. I think maybe it's because I used to get, in when I first started school, I used to get bullied because I was quite annoying. Not that I'm not annoying now, but I was like a different kind of annoying. Like I was kind of like teacher's pet annoying. And I think that's where it all stemmed. Why is doing this cake turning into a therapy session? Am I okay? Okay, this is what this looks like. <gasps> no, 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 no. You get back over there. I'm gonna plonk it on this cake. This cake's looking really small. I'm quite pathetic. Okay. Three, two, one. I didn't even look at those instructions. Oh well, it's happened. Wait, maybe I should look at instructions. How do you get it on? Roll it out and roll it on. No, I'm not doing that. Am I? Doesn't working. Look at this. How's that looking from your side? It's not even good on mine. But also, I remember when I was at school, like thinking to myself, "Oh shit, I'm getting bullied. This isn't looking good." But then I kind of realised, like, sometimes when everyone is saying that you're annoying, you sometimes do have to look introspectively and think, "Am I actually annoying?" Because then I realised I was, and I was kind of like, "Fair enough." But also on the side note, the people that did bully me are now losers. So I mean, not saying that I'm not a loser, but. Like, yeah, we all ended up in the same shit, so. <laughs> this cake is shit. I've just realised I'm too busy telling you about me being bullied for no reason. No one's asked, babe. This side's looking particularly bad. And let's put another bit around it. Let's just put cake over there. <laughs> Bye, babe. God, I'm really concentrating. I'm really silent. That never happens. I always still worry when I do things like this. Like, if Rory's friends are going to think I'm a bit of a beg. Because I think I just naturally am a bit of a beg. Like, that does come quite naturally to me, just being a bit of a beg. And so I get worried that people are going to think I'm a beg. It's not so much think I'm a beg, it's the fact they're going to know I'm a beg. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this looks really bad. I think it looked better without this weird casing that I've just done. Oh, maybe I'll make it smaller and I'll put it around the bottom. Yes, yes, Holly, come on. Beauty and brains, babe. By the time this cake even comes out tonight, everyone's going to be drunk. So no one's going to even really notice it. So I think, actually, I've got to make this with the mindset that people are going to see it with beer goggles. Do you know what I mean? So it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, this is a bit like a, skirt, a cake skirting board. Do you think that's looking good? I think that does actually look a little bit better. Your side definitely looks better. My side doesn't, but whatever. We just have to look at it from one angle. Okay, now I need to draw the logo on the top. Let me get my laptop, actually. I've got the logo. You're going to have to not look. I don't think I can, like, leak where they both work. I feel like they're not going to like that. So you're going to have to just mind your own business at this point. So let's freaking have it. thinking about it I just want you to know I'm not a simp I'm literally just doing me all the time I'm like my mouth open like that I'm like a little goat I don't want to alarm anyone but this looks really bad okay the cake's done and I've written around it oh. happy b-day boys I didn't film the rest of yesterday when we were making the cakes and, and then we went to the actual like shindig for Rory's birthday and his friend's birthday because we ended up going to this restaurant 
and it had like a live singer and I don't know why but that to me is like a bottomless brunch and I hate bottomless brunch right so it was like I was trying to eat my food but also this woman's like singing in my ear and I was like I'm overstimulated and I can't decide between singing along with you also the tan is still bad um and or eat my food so it was just a shit show so I just completely forgot to film because all I was trying to function on was just being a normal human being anyway now today we're meant to be we've always got some friends down and they're helping us in decorating our house because our house is currently absolute shit heat. me and Rory neither of us have got any like oomph to actually get on with it so the house is just shit and we were discussing this morning what, what should we get on with what should we do we just fell out <laughs> like we you know I'm really indecisive he doesn't really care so collectively we're not getting anywhere so in the end I was like do you know what you and your friends go for brunch well, I go to the calf, right? I'm going to go for a run. I'm going to cool off and then we'll try again later. So that's the first argument out of the way in the bank hole. So I'm glad, you know, I'm glad we've got it out of the way. Like I was saying about the decoration. What's going on there? This house looks like no one lives in it. We've been here for like five months. Anyway, I'm going to go for a run. Hopefully it's going to release some endorphins and I'm not going to want to kill my boyfriend anymore. Also, look, my bra pads are up here. Why have I got four tits and they're all small? I haven't got the energy to deal with that. I'm just going to have to go. That's fine. Whatever. If you think I've got four tits, you think I've got four tits. That's a you problem, not a real problem. Me from the future, hi. Um, that just ended on a really random note of me saying that I've got four tits. So love that for me. Forgot to also mention with the cake, what happened? So the cake came out. That was all lovely, whatever. And then we went to a pub and these people were like, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? And Moira was carrying his cake. And he was like, oh, let me show you. And he went to open it and it just fell flat. <laughs> I've got a picture actually. I'll show you. And you could tell Rory was like, oh. And I was like, look, it's fine. Let's just chuck it in the bin. He's like, no. He's like, we'll just cut the bottom layer off and we'll still eat it. And I was like, okay, if you say so. Anyway, the cake then lived in our kitchen on the side for about two weeks. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that vlog. And I'm going to try and get one out every week from here on. But I just really struggle with it because I get really scared that none of you actually give a shit about what, anything I'm saying. And I feel like I'm just like rambling in them. So yeah. Okay. Me and imposter syndrome are going to go now. Bye. <laughs>